Hey, sweetheart. How you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, Grandpa Friday, do you have any other interesting stories you want to tell me? Well, did I ever tell you the story of Valentino and Paris? Mm -mm. Well, back in the 1800s, in a small town in France, there was this loving couple. Valentina Hart and Paris Rose were madly in love. They were set to get hitched in a few short months. They both owned their shops and were semi-successful. Valentino's was a candy shop and Paris's was a florist. But soon their businesses crumbled. Valentino, mi amor, we can't keep living like this. We don't have enough money to pay our bills, feed ourselves, or, or pay for our wedding. Sacre bleu, you're right. If we can not pay our bills soon, we'll have to move back in with our parents. No, my parents are already contacted me, and I think I'll have to go work back on the family farm. My darling, you must. And I will stay here, in the town, with my friends. My years of training at True Shining College will finally pay off. No, Valentino, how could I ever live without you? Your family farm is only a mile away. I shall visit you every night. And so, Valentino and Paris worked their small jobs for little money. Valentino worked every day for six months while Paris continued to help her parents at the family farm. But one day, on a cool afternoon, Valentino was struck with an epiphany. You're a genius! Hurry, mi amor. I've had an epiphany. What are you doing? Can't you see I'm peeling potatoes? With my idea, you will never have to peel a potato again! Oh, oh, oh. Monsieur? Well, I was just eavesdropping on this man who was talking to himself when I got the idea. Ha ha! I sure do love my wife. Her favorite things are candy like chocolate and flowers. If only there was a special day we could celebrate our love. Vive la France! You are a genius! We oui, shall create a holiday of love to sell our way. Do you really think that this is going to work? We have nothing left to lose. So if it doesn't work, then let my name be cursed for a thousand generations. What day would this holiday be on? It shall be on the greatest day of love that I can think of. Our anniversary, February 14th. Really? I love it! Oh. What will this holiday be called? I got it! In honor of my fiance, this holiday will be called Valentine's Day. You're a genius! Paris and Valentino worked tirelessly day and night to prepare for their new holiday. Valentine's Day soon became a success. Everyone in town loved the idea of an entire day dedicated to celebrating loved ones. The French town Paris and Valentino lived in even wanted to honor them. In honor of Paris and Valentino, the creators of the glorious holiday of love, Valentine's Day, our fair town of Goonsburg will be renamed to Paris. We are all citizens of Paris, France now. Valentine's Day is an international holiday because of those two. Do you know about the Eiffel Tower? It's that big tower thing in France, right? Yeah, but do you know why it's there? No. Valentino had it custom built for his lady. They lived inside of it. They even adopted an Irish kid named Patrick. And so, Valentino, Paris, and little Patrick 
live happily ever after in their 90-story home. They love being the family. The end. But Grandpa, what was the point of the story? It's the middle of August. Well, Patrick was my great-great-great-great-grandfather. That is so cool. Yeah, well, you go to bed now, kiddo. Thanks for telling me the story, Grandpa. No problem. Thank you.